Bionic Gloves presents the Hands-On Golf Podcast, bringing anatomy and hand function to the forefront of glove design to improve comfort, fit, and performance. Welcome everyone to this week's Bionic Gloves Hands-On Golf Podcast. I am Chaz, I am your host, and yes, I'm back with more emails. Well, or another email, shall I say. This one comes from Peter Chen, and he says, Chaz, I love the podcast, keep them coming. And he goes, always wonder how to backspin the ball on the approach. Great question. In fact, I always wondered that myself. I'm not this golf pro, but I know one that can help us with that. And his name is Barry Bonifield, and he's the pro here at the Crescent Hill Golf Course in Louisville, Kentucky, and he's gonna teach us just how to do that. So uh, Peter, just for you submitting and us using this uh, question in our podcast, you're gonna get an official bonnet glove. So be looking for that real soon in your mailbox. And see, it's that easy, folks. All you've gotta do, Submit a story idea, a question, be a part of the show, be a part of the family. And uh, if you're chosen, you get a glove. So send story ideas to podcast at bonnetgloves.com. So thank you very much, Peter. Uh, Let's go join Barry on the course and see how we can resolve your question with him in today's podcast. Hey, Barry, how are you doing? This is Chaz. Hey, Chaz, how are you? Hey, I'm doing good. Hey, I just wanted to know uh, if you got a, another minute. I have another question for you from a viewer. Sure, happy to. Well, this one comes in from a gentleman by the name of Peter Chen, and he wanted to know how to put a backspin on the ball on the approach. Can you help us with that? Sure, Peter, great question. Uh, two or three variables uh, within that question. I'll answer it as concisely as I can. First of all, uh, the ball that you choose becomes very important, and there are two or three brands that make a high spinning golf ball. This is a Titleist Pro V1, probably the best known golf ball out there today. Uh, and it, this ball is rated, balls used to be rated in compression, the hardness or the softness of the ball. Now they're rated more if they're higher spin rate or a lower spin rate um, than other golf balls. But this, this one has a high spin rate. So first of all, the ball you choose. Second of all, the conditions that you're playing in. And so in, in this situation, on a, on a tightly mown Bermuda uh, grass fairway, I'm going to be able to kind of pinch the ball against the turf when this club face comes down on the golf ball. And it's going to uh, pinch the ball down and give that ball a, a hard back spinning type of revolution. And so that, that becomes very important on this type of shot. And, show you another lie here that where it would be more difficult and that would be in this kind of a situation where the where the grass is a little bit longer and you can see I'm gonna get some grass between the club face and that golf ball as it comes in this is not gonna be a high spin rate type of a shot as a rule okay and then thirdly if you can hit it hit the ball to a green where the green is sloping back to front the back is higher than the front you'll be able to hit that ball to the flagstick or beyond. And if, you've, if you're hitting the right ball and you hit the ball from a relatively clean lie, that ball will hit and bounce forward and then will spin back as a rule, okay? So some of it is, uh, it relates to how well you strike the ball. And then probably the, the final thing would be, you want to leave yourself at a distance. You want to plan the distance that you leave yourself from the green that you know you can hit the ball hard enough uh, and be able to compress that golf ball and pinch it against the turf so that you get some backspin. If you'd like, I'll hit one for you and show you real quick. Absolutely. I'd love to see how, uh, how you get this to happen. I'm about 65 yards from this flag stick, and that's a pretty good distance for me with my 60-degree wedge. So I've got my 60-degree wedge, and I'm going to hit this about uh, 75%, 80% and then try to hit it beyond that flag stick just a little bit. So let's see what happens here. You got a real good lie with the shot. And that's about perfect. Hit that just beyond the flag stick and it took a bounce and came spinning back. I've got about an eight or nine foot putt back there. So uh, hope, hopefully that answers your question. Any further questions you may want to direct to your local PGA golf professional. Well, Barry, thank you very much for your time. And uh, I'll let you get back to your game because it's a beautiful day here. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Nice right. spending time All with right. you. All right, take care. Nice seeing you again. Thanks.